sides and the great skies, it was okay. And I said, hey, Mr. Fish, you get all that you wish. You got nothing to complain about while hanging out in this bitch. Well, he replied, existence is bliss. There's so much that you miss. Besides, get off the trip. Happiness is just a myth. I said, living in water is extremely more peaceful than a, my, um, than a life my... Ah, oh, fuck me! <laughs> I thought it would be a fun idea to share a rap with you guys uh, from an artist I love dearly. Uh, he's passed away. If any of you know who Idea from Idea and Abilities is, uh, this song is for you. Alright. So this is Birth of a Fish. Let's see what this beat does for me. And uh, I'm gonna take my glasses off so you guys know I'm doing it by memory. Watch me pump this shit up. <laughs> he lives in a 4 by 2 glass box that reminds me of my head. I wish my floor would have rocks, but it's covered with puddles instead. If I could be him, life would be great. I could erase this permanent frown. I wouldn't even be held down by my own weight. I woke up, walked to the tank to hear his thoughts on yesterday. How was it, I asked, and after a tap on the glass, he looked my way and gave me this depressed expression and pressed its best just to say, and besides the tides and the great skies, it was okay. We'll be like that beat in the bag is throwing me off. I think I don't know my hula. At least it's Hawaiian. You know what? We should just like record it outside or something. Okay. You know, like, I absolutely love that place and I really want to record in there, but the music is throwing me off. I want to like do the beat, but it's like not fast enough. This is a four by two glass box. I wish my floor would have rocks, but it's covered with. What? Do you want me to say that? Prince in practice moans for the attention that he yeah, right there. Rock yeah, we got Ross in the back there. Oh fuck. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Whatever. I just think the environment, maybe I'll be able to ignore better. We gotta get out of where there's sound. It's like not gonna work. Go to the Mary set up alibis. No harm, no regret. Hoping they meet an angel in bed that could wrestle the devil right out of their heads. The city runs fast. No one has time to sit with themselves. No time to look at the Start walking like a penguin. It where you walk so out, much. you push outwards. Yeah, where you kind of be sure most of your gravity is like on the leg you're about to step on. And then just be sure of fully transferring weight as you go. You don't have to do a full waddle, but just something basic enough. The, well, no, the trick is straddling your legs to shoulder length. And then just walking from side to side. That way you don't fall. It's like, why is it every time a glove falls on the floor, it looks like it's flipping you up? <laughs> I'm still recording. So we tried to record this at the Aloha Hawaiian Barbecue, and we also tried to film it right outside, but there were music in both places that were uh, kind of thrown off my groove. So we're out by some dumpsters <laughs> uh, behind our local theater, and I thought I'd wrap for you some idea and abilities by memory. The shakiness. We're doing it from the beginning. I've been not in life confined to a mind that's blinded by evil. Hold on, let me. <clears throat> All right. He lives in a 4 by 2 glass box that reminds me of my head. I wish my floor would have rocks, but it's covered with puddles instead. If I could be him, life would be great. 
I could erase this permanent frown. I wouldn't even be held down by my own weight. I woke up, walked to the tank to hear his thoughts on yesterday. How was it, I asked, and after a tap on the glass, he looked my way and gave me this depressed expression, pressed its best just to say, and besides the tides and the great skies, it was okay. And I said, hey, Mr. Fish, you get all that you wish. You got nothing to complain about while hanging out in this bitch. Well, he replied, existence is bliss. There's so much that you miss. Besides, get off the trip. Happiness is just a myth. I said, living in water is extremely more peaceful than a life confined to a mind that's blinded by evil and forced to see through these two peepholes. It seemed to redeem freedom not being limited by walls, but that only means I qualify as ground for the sky when it falls. Oh, that only means I qualify as ground for the sky when it falls. But Mr. Fish just laughed as I went on and on and on. So I interrupted his chuckle, putting up my middle finger. And he boldly told me, it's too bad, I'm such a thinker. So arrogantly I asked, how can someone think too much? He added that insanity lingers and thoughts brought me to the brink of such. He said, you live inside a head that reminds me of my glass box. And everyone's the same. All brains are contained by a reality frame. It's chained to the terrain and trained not to change. And once you see what I've explained, you'll hit the jackpot. And at that very moment, it's like my eyes really open. The air that previously surrounded me was now an ocean. Still totally invisible except for minor pieces of debris. And Mr. Fish pushed up to the glass and he looked just like me. My whole world spun around. I didn't understand, but I realized I was no longer a man. So I thought about what he said and asked him what was going on. And he said, you didn't know it, but you were the fish all along. He said, congratulations, you did it. You broke free. You're just a fish like the rest of humanity. Now it took me a long time to get adjusted to this tank, but now I know what I am. And so to that man, I give thanks. So I always lived inside this glass box that reminds him of his head. It just, it just goes to show you that your mind is your own monster. Reality is what you make it. And if you take it away, you're just a fish like me swimming in the powdery water. God, it took forever. Rest in peace, idea. We love you. We love you so much. And we miss you.